This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We've just passed the 31 minute mark in our count. The T minus 30 minutes, 52 seconds and counting, aiming toward our planned liftoff time of 32 minutes past the hour. The start of our launch window on this the mission to land men on the moon. The countdown still proceeding very satisfactorily at this time. We've just got by an important test with the launch vehicle, checking out the various batteries in the three stages and instrument unit of the Saturn V. We remain on external power through most of the count to preserve those batteries which must be used during the powered flight. We've just taken a look at them by going internal and then switching back to external again. The batteries all look good. The next time we go internal will be at the 52nd mark with those batteries and they will remain, of course, on internal power during the flight. The lunar module, which has been rather inactive during these latter phases of the count, also is going on internal power at this time on the two batteries in the ascent stage and the four batteries of the descent stage. For the next 20 minutes, we'll take a look at some systems in the lunar module, then power down at about the 10 minute mark in the, in the count, power down uh, the telemetry to uh, preserve the uh, power of the limb. The lunar module in Apollo 11, of course, when it separates from the command module in lunar orbit, We'll have the call sign Eagle. The command module call sign, once the two vehicles separate, will be Columbia. Both Columbia and Eagle are go at this time at 29 minutes, 24 seconds, and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control.
This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're just past the 26-minute mark in the count. T-minus 25 minutes, 53 seconds and counting. Still proceeding very satisfactorily. At this time, uh, spacecraft test conductor Skip Chauvin working with astronaut Buzz Aldrin in the middle seat, uh, covering the final pressurization of the reaction control system for the spacecraft. These are those uh, big thrusters on the side of the service module that are used for maneuvers in space. Each one of these thrusters is capable of 100 pounds of thrust. There are 16 of them loaded, located in four quadrants around the service module. We pressurize the system with helium uh, prior to launch to make sure that all will be in readiness for use in space. The countdown still proceeding satisfactorily. It picked up uh, at the T-minus nine hour mark at 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight last evening. We've just had two comparatively minor problems uh, since that time. The major portion of uh, the countdown uh, during the early morning hours, some five hours of work was taken to load the various propellants aboard the stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle. As we came into the count this morning, we did already have uh, the fuel aboard the first stage, but it was necessary to bring the liquid oxygen aboard all three stages and the liquid hydrogen fuel aboard the second and third stages. Uh, close to uh, three quarters of a million gallons of propellants were loaded during these five hours. Following uh, that, the astronauts, the prime crew, were awakened at 4.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight as planned in their countdown and proceeded to uh, have a physical examination in which they were declared flight ready. They sat down for the normal astronaut fare on launch day as far as breakfast is concerned, orange juice, steak, scrambled eggs, toast, and coffee. The three uh, pilots were joined by two of their colleagues at breakfast, uh, Director of Flight Crew Operations, Deke Slayton, and the backup command module pilot, Bill Anders, who uh, has been named uh, the executive secretary of the National Aeronautics and Space Council. The astronauts departed from their crew quarters. Uh, after checking out their suits, they departed from the crew quarters at 6.27 a.m. and some 27 minutes later, eight miles away from the crew quarters at the Kennedy Space Center, atop the launch pad at Complex 39, 6.54 a.m., the commander, astronaut Neil Armstrong, was the first to board the spacecraft. He was uh, followed about five minutes later by Mike Collins, and finally Buzz Aldrin, the man who's sitting in the middle seat uh, during liftoff, was the third astronaut to come aboard. Two minor problems have been encountered during the count. Early in the count, a malfunction light came on here in the control center, indicating that we might have a communication problem at the launch pad. Nothing to do with the spacecraft, but it indicated we possibly might not be able to talk to some uh, key technicians we had at the pad. Uh, the problem turned out to be very minor. A simple adjustment of some equipment beneath the pad uh, remedied the problem. There was no, uh, in fact, no equipment problem involved. The second problem, we did encounter a leaky valve in part of the equipment that's used to replenish the hydrogen fuel supply on the third stage of the Saturn V launch vehicle. A team of technicians were sent out to the launch pad at about the time the astronauts were traveling to the pad. They tightened some bolts, and uh, we were able to bypass this valve and uh, proceed with our countdown. The weather is uh, certainly go. It's a beautiful morning for a launch to the moon. We expect a temperature of about 85 degrees in the Kennedy Space Center area. The wind's about 10 miles, 10 knots rather, from the southeast. And uh, the weather conditions and the round-the-world track, according to reports from the Manned Space Flight Meteorology Group, indicate all weather conditions are acceptable for launch. That's our general status. We've just passed the 22-minute mark in the count, 21 minutes, 55 seconds, and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control.